everybody, this is Miss Nicole from Bloomfield Public Library, and I'm actually sitting in my mom's serenity garden. The new growth has just started, so you see a lot of scraggly plants nearby, but there's also a lot of green starting to pop up. Um, and she's got her, her little fake owl up there, which is used to scare away some critters. Its head turns in the wind. Um, but the reason I'm here is I wanted to share a book with you. Um, it's brand new. It came in not too long ago um, at our library. So we do have it at Bloomfield Public Library if you wanted to check it out. And the title of this book is called Photo Arc. And it's from National Geographic Kids. And it's called Celebrating Our Wild World in Poetry and Pictures. The words are by Kwame Alexander, who is a Newbery Medal award-winning author. And the photographs are by Joel Sartor. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with his photographs, but he's a National Geographic photographer and his photographs are amazing. And as it says here in his little biography description on, the, on one of the flaps, he is the founder and creative force behind the National Geographic Photo Arc, his lifelong mission to photograph all of the world's captive animals. So his goal is to make sure that we don't forget animals, um, all the animals that have been a part of this world, and his photographs are exquisite. So I wanted to share this special book with you, not just for Kwame Alexander's poetry, but also for Joel Sartor Sartor's photographs. So Thank let's you. begin. Photo Arc, celebrating our wild world in poetry and pictures, photographs by Joel Sartor, words by Kwame Alexander, and published by National Geographic. Chorus of creatures singing our names, see what we can save together. Look into these eyes full of secret places to hide and play. A feathered rainbow dance. Curiosity that leaps. Homes of courage on humble backs. This is not a race. Embracing wonder, sliding and gliding, waiting for you to notice. Spots blend unseen so they can stalk, swim, sneak up on us. Listen to the rumble giant stomping feet calling brothers and sisters. Blink and you'll miss the hush of waves, tiny feet scurrying inside dunes. Enchanting electric golden colors, jumping, glowing, singing. Wings like a cape, ready for flight into the sweet dark night. Wild at heart with slow measured moves and eyes big as two sunsets. How many feathers does it take to make a wing? To fly, share sky. Coils of hiss, mohawk plume, sharp, stinging beauty. From glistening sea to rising sun, color me ancient and sacred. Turk 
turquoise and gold, camouflage in the trees, moods changing with the breeze. Howl like you mean it. Oh, the world is listening. A pair of claws, a thousand silent waving arms grab hold of us. Innocent wander, tiny growls new to the chase. A hundred feet walking without a sound one direction. Spooky webs spinning a deadly tattoo. Stay away. Strong yet gentle, black and white, championing human nature. Grandfather of the hunt, Fierce and fast and favored forever. And that, my friends, is the end of this amazing book by National Geographic Kids. And I, I, lo I, I love this book, especially, I love the poetry from Kwame Alexander, but for me, I love this book especially for the photographs by Joel Sartor. All of those are original photographs of real live animals. And if you check out this book from the library, there are actually several fold-out pages with details about a lot of other different animals as well. I can give you sort of a sneak peek. So there are a lot of spreads like this that give you information about animals in the book and other animals as well. So I hope you enjoyed that read. I enjoyed reading it to you today outside. It's a lovely day, even though it looks like the sun went behind some clouds now. Um, but I'll have some more books to share with you in the near future. So for now, that's it from Miss Nicole and Bloomfield Public Library. Bye, everybody.